What's up guys, Alpha here back with another Minecraft tour here on the Vadex server and today we're going to be touring someone that was suggested down in the section below or in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget guys, you guys can go ahead and leave your IGNs in the comment section below. Tell me what, where is your plot, like on big, pl on big plots or on small plots and I'll go ahead and check it out myself and who knows, I'll probably tour it and it'll be up here on one of these episodes. Um, this plot was made by the Supreme Beast. He was using default, and there's this YouTube channel right there, so you guys can have a look at yourself. Um, but this plot is just all around really, really nice. Like he made it really active. He has like about five structures. They're all like half half built. I believe the only ones that were finished were was this one here. But there's not much room in in, in it, so they there was like no interior on that one. Um, and these and all these there, there's interior though, and it came out absolutely amazing it looks really really good it's very active like especially when entering in this area i would say this is the place where you enter in because the other ones are kind of blocked off so i'm just gonna go ahead and enter in through here now there is obviously no actual pathway but it doesn't really matter um i'll just go ahead and start out here it's very very active like he added like chest player heads uh plant pots pistons uh, I would say furnaces, anvils, just things everywhere, which looks amazing. Oh, there's even this little uh, storage house back here. I forgot to add that. That's kind of like a sick structure, I would say. Even though it's just kind of just built into the uh, mountain, but still, I would say six. Um, yeah, basically just added storage everywhere. Just, it's not useful whatsoever, but I mean, it's a really nice detail to have kind of like an outhouse outside the uh, outside these houses here. Um, but yeah, basically you have the first structure right here, which looks quite nice. It's very nicely detailed. Um, then you got mushrooms on the pathway, which looks not half bad either. Uh, you got this little nice open area first, and then like furnaces within the wall, which looks quite nice as well. Kind of looks like an old style furnace. And then you got like a bedroom going on here with like a little desk. Um, and then just a bunch of stuff everywhere, which makes it look really nice. It's like very active and looks like people actually lived here. Um, which is a nice little cool feature to it. Um, then you got this side. Can't really actually like that. It's not connected because this tree kind of blocks the two docks. Um, it would have been cool if it was kind of like attached around the tree, which would be quite nice. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you could fly. Um, but yeah, you got this other little dock here. Kind of just has a bunch of stuff right here as well. Kind of just a bunch of clutter. Uh, and then you got this nice house, which is kind of similar to the other one, but it's very nicely detailed. Um, I really like it. Um, you got like a little kitchen area right here, which looks quite nice as well. Um, then I believe the bedroom area is right up here. Nice little bunk beds over there on that side. Cake right next to the bed, which makes sense. Um, some nice little storage stuff going on here as well. Um, yeah, it looks really nice, I would say. I really like this these uh, houses here, um, especially the interior. The interior is always really good. Uh, to look at uh, when people have like really neat ideas um, then you got you, well, you got this tree here which looks quite nice you even used like player heads to change the shape around a little bit which is also pretty cool this pond here looks also really nice as well he added like these little stone uh, features here which looks quite nice as well what does it say oh this is how you get to the top which looks, looks quite nice let's go ahead and head up to the top uh, you got like a lava pit going on here. I don't know what this is. I would say, oh, this is just some sort of a stand for the bridge. I thought it was like some sort of pump of some sort. I didn't even understand why there was an anvil there. But yeah, you got a little lava pit right there, which is quite nice. Then you head up to the top up here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go this way um, to the tower. The tower um, was the only like fully, almost fully completed build. Uh, but there's obviously not that much room, so you couldn't really add much interior to it. But it's a pretty nice looking tower. The only thing that was cut out was this like last bit right here. That's pretty much it. But it's a whole completed build, pretty much. And it's very nice. It's like It has a nice shape to it. That's what I like the most to it. Um, then we could go ahead and head over to this little windmill house over here. On this side. This side. I don't believe. Yeah, there's not much to it. Just a little bit of the power system on how this thing is actually working and stuff so you actually put some logic into the building but there wasn't enough room to actually fit stuff into it which is a shame but it's actually really really nice i really like it um let's go ahead and head over to this side um you got this house right here which looks quite nice this isn't much like like 
type of outward depth type of shape to it. It looks really good, I would say. Um, for the interior, he was able to fit a little tiny uh, fireplace here, a little desk, and then like some, some stuff here on the corner. Let's go ahead and head over to the top section. Oh, and then this, this interior looks a lot more nicer. I don't know what's up with that a crafting table just hanging from the uh, ceiling there. I don't know what that's supposed to be, um, but I guess kind of cool idea. Um, you got Then you got your beds here, and then it's kind of like a bunk bed as well. You can head up to the top, and you have another bed up at the top, which looks quite nice as well. I really like the interior on this one, on the top section here. Let's go ahead and head back down to the bottom. I believe that is the last building up here. Yeah, that's the last building up here. And then all, all he has is just like little wheat fields and kind of a little custom tree, which is really nice as well. He just added fences and the player heads to kind of change around the shape a bit of the tree, which looks pretty cool. All in all, this this plot is just really, really good. It's very active, and I believe he told me in the comment section below that this this plot here got him apprentice to Ladari, so he didn't even go to bed, and he, he uh, skipped straight to Ladari, which is pretty good because uh, he it looks like he worked on it pretty hard, um, and I really like it. really liked it. Oh, he even has this tree here with no leaves. Um, that I guess that's just the style he was going for. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did go ahead and leave a like because that helps helps out the channel a lot and don't forget to leave your IGNs for the plots you guys made in the comment section below so I could go ahead and check them out and probably show them on one of these episodes but besides that guys I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode bye guys